Well, hello, fellow YouTube viewers. Welcome to what is going to be an amazing video. Hopefully something you may possibly have never seen before in Forza 7. We are today going to be driving the Audi touring car around Catalonia GP circuit in an amazing two lap race. Two lap race around Catalonia GP. We're going to be wearing a baby blue, baby romper jumpsuit um, for reasons unknown, just because you can. And this one's going to be a little bit different because I am not going to be doing any of the driving. We have a very special guest with us today. We have a very special guest with us indeed. In fact, we have a tablespoon. Yes, a tablespoon will be playing Forza 7 today, racing two laps in this mighty Audi against the AI. I am not going to be doing any input into it at all. The silver spoon is aided by a small elastic band, which I will show you on camera now. Can you see it there? It is nicely already pressing the accelerator, ready to race. It is eager to race in today's video. So I am just going to place that about there so you can see the controller. You can see this is the controller we are using. You can see I can move this stuff around. So it is the active controller. I have not got another controller off camera. So we're going to get the race underway. I'm going to press A for start. And let's go. So all the cars lined up on the grid for the rolling start. Surrounded by BMWs, we are green light, go, go, go. We are in place 12 of 24 on the big run down to turn one. Slow Audi on the right hand side. BMWs making a charge early by the looks of it. What is turn one going to be like? Is turn one going to be the clusterfuck that it usually is? So far, so good. Little tap. It's spoons trying to go around the outside. There's a bit more contact as you would expect from touring cars. But he's, up, he's made four play positions, four positions on the first corner alone. It's looking good for the Spoon. The Spoon is doing a, an amazing job. Tyres still need to warm up a little bit. Tyres are still a bit of cold. Spoon, you need to be aware of that. You have cold tyres. Cutting the inside of that corner beautifully. He's trying to get on the gas. The traction control is automatically kicking in and slowing him down. Chasing down Bumblebee 06 in position 7. Which I believe... Three cars in front of us are cars from the Swedish touring cars, uh, which wouldn't usually race with the British touring cars. Still a little bit confused why it mixes the two in Forza, but hey, it's Forza. So through the chicane section, slow on the exit of the corner, needs to get more power down. Up the hill to the fast, sweeping right-hander, isn't going to be able to hold the speed through this corner. It misses the apex by about a country mile, and as a result, it's really slow on the exit. So again, we've lost a little bit more position. Let's just have a look behind us, where are the cars behind us? There's a whole menagerie of cars behind us, ready to pounce should the Silver Spoon make a mistake. But it's cut it tight on that corner. It's looking good so far, he's holding them off. The sp spoon is driving well under pressure. Doing very well under pressure. Now we're going to get to what is possibly the most technical part of this section. Can it maintain the speed through these corners? Can it gain any positions? Can it gain any distance on the cars in front? It would look like no. Riding the curbs a little bit. And through the final corner. That is one amazing lap created or completed by the Silver Spoon. Just going to move the control lap back a little bit so you can see it. See the Silver Spoon is still fully attached. Both my hands in cam. So you can see I am not actually doing anything. And it's full hard and I thought I'm doing 140 plus miles an hour down the first straight into turn one. Miss it again, missing the apex. Spoon, you need to work on your apexes a little bit more. They're not great. Through the long right hander. Again, not really making any ground. I fear that this is possibly the position we are going to finish in. I fear like eighth position is where the spoon is going to peak. We are 3.2 seconds up on our previous lap time, which you would imagine from a rolling start. We've got cars hot on our heels behind us. McGrath wants this eighth position, he wants it. BMW is charging. Spoon is in full defensive mode. Full defensive mode. Still cars lined up behind us. Again, cars are getting a little bit more stretched out now. It would appear that the Spoon hasn't got the pace to keep up with the AI. Again, super slow through that section. Trying to get all the Audi's power down. Again, missing that apex by a country mile. Is he going to hit the barriers this time? It's close. No, he just misses them by a nuts hair. Again, down into heavy braking of the left-hander that's approaching. Braking possibly a little bit early. 
but this time hitting the apex a little bit better but having an absolute terrible exit for the corner see by the markers behind us we still have cars everywhere we have created a train of touring cars that we're currently holding up everybody from ninth place backwards Through the last chain section, I don't think we're going to be able to get any more positions other than eight. We may lose some still. It's going to be close. We've got a little bit of a gap. We should be fine unless he just decides not to accelerate at all. Down the home straight. Approaching the finish line. Two of two laps completed. Eight of 24. 180 points earned with a best lap of 204 for the Silver Spoon. Overall, a quite an average performance from the Silver Spoon in its first outing. Are there any of the other household objects which are going to be able to beat that lap time or get a better finishing position? So no AI were hurt or harmed in the making of this video. Everybody is perfectly a-okay. -A Next video, we may be doing some more household objects. Feel free to leave in the comment section to what household objects we should indeed use to race in Forza 7 so that we don't have to. And it still gets us points. And it still gets us credits. Thank you for watching guys, feel free to share, like, subscribe to shit out of this motherfucking video, all the YouTube shit that people say, in fact if you don't want to don't bother, I, I'm not asked either way, um, but I hope you enjoyed the video, ciao for now.